YouTube, what's up, man? Today is a very special video for the last, probably the entire Madden 20 year when people watch me play, when I post clips on Instagram, Twitter, or, or TikTok, wherever. Make sure you guys follow those social medias. All those links are below so you guys support me and put out all the content I have for Madden. But since I've been putting it out, all I've been getting asked is how do I do this? How do I do that? How do I stop like that? How do you, you know, get that move down? How do you embarrass people in the open field? And I'm going to break that down today pretty much how I do it. Um, it's not that difficult. So if you want to pull off plays like these, then I'm saying then make sure you follow this video. Hit that like button. Subscribe. Um, I started learning how to do this in Madden 19. And um, it really got, I got better and better at it going on through Madden 20. Now, so that being said, if you master this now, by the time Madden 21, 21 hits, if the player movement is anything like it's been the last couple of years, you will be very good in the open field. Uh, that's what my goal is to make sure you guys are, are, you know, as good as me in the open field. I mean, it's not rocket science. It takes somewhat stick, but a, a lot of it is anticipation, you know, seeing where the defenders are. And another thing about it is you have to learn how your opponent tackles, almost as if you're learning what his coverages are, what his defensive calls are. How does he tackle? Is he a guy that never clicks on unless the computer tackle? Is he a guy that wants to hit stick you every time? Is he somebody that clicks on and clicks off and, and, and so on and so forth? Also know that down and distance is now the time for me to try to make a big play and make somebody miss or should I get the yards in front of me? But it's just it's a lot of things incorporated, but uh, I'm going to go over just pretty much how I hesitate in the open field, how I just make people run past me and get turn big plays into touchdowns. Uh, that's the biggest goal with this. And you can do it with any player. Now, every player is different. I mean, if you're six, five, you might stop, stop a little bit. You know, it might take a little bit longer for you to stop running. Uh, and that's pretty much the goal here. What we want to do is come to a complete stop and then go again. You know, that's pretty much what the stop and go is. It's pretty much self-explanatory. But um, uh, we're going to go ahead and practice mode. Now, this is a practice mode that maybe you guys don't use a lot. Maybe you guys don't access this practice mode, but it's practice mode offense only. Now, I used to use this a lot uh, back in Madden 08, Madden 09, learning different rocket catches, how to move my receiver to get um, different, better angles on a DB. And, and just without the pressure of the line sacking you, or, you know, people tackling. You want to get an open field and, and learn how to move. Now, this, I'm going to use Lamar Jackson. He's not Michael Vick. One of the reasons I love Michael Vick is because I'm so used to the way he moves with the ball in his hands. Pause. But that's pretty much why I am gotten have gotten used to Michael Vick. Um, but every player is different, whether it's your running back, your tight end, your DBs when you catch interceptions, your punt returner. They're all different. So get accustomed to different players. Now, it's all you all do it the same way. They just Some people slow down more. Some people slow down less. So we're going to go ahead. This is offense only practice mode. All right. It's really it's really pretty simple. Um, but we're going to have Lamar Jackson here. This is the blast that I run in New Orleans. If you want to check out that ebook, that link is below manturf.com. Make sure you guys do that. But uh, the biggest thing is this is why we use offense only. Because now look at us. We have... 30 yard where we have 80 yards right here where we can do whatever the hell we want, you know, and this guy's going to go out and block for me. But you got to figure out how you got to learn how these players move. Now, the biggest thing you want to do is, is once you have your momentum, you want to come to a stop. Now, I'm not holding the turbo at all right now. And you'll see how fast without turbo, maybe he stops in one yard. That's when he stops, right? Let's go ahead and score and start over. Stops in one yard when you're on turbo. Now, if you hold turbo, which I'll be honest, I hold turbo most of the time. If you hold turbo, it almost takes five yards to stop. So if you want to stop and go somewhere, you want to let go of turbo, come to a stop, and then what you'll do is as soon as you want to get going again, you want to smack that turbo button again. You kind of want to just decelerate all your buttons. And then just go again. Really, you want to let go of turbo now. Stop, boom, hit turbo again. And the big one of the biggest things I can tell you guys is it's not really, I don't do it when I see him stop. I kind of do it knowing that he's going to stop. Like, it's I kind of input it before I see it actually happen. Like, he's, you know, he's stopping and moving. You know, once he stops, boom, I'm gone. You know, and that, that's how it goes. But it's I don't wait for, to see him stop. I don't really know how to explain that other than I just do it. I know he's going to stop, so I pretty much hit that right trigger before he actually slows down. And right there, we stumble. But we get up. 
So no turbo, stop, go. Stop, get going. Now, one thing that I do do sometimes is I almost, it's hard to say this without sounding real, real suspect, but I almost want to, come on, kid. I want to smack this left stick down a little bit. See that? That almost makes you super stop and play. Rather than let go, smack it down and then go back. You know, that's probably a little more hyper, a little more, like, just more drastic. It's just down a little bit. That's, see, that was too much. You don't want to do that. But if you can just go down a little, if you guys see, I'm just smacking this, this stick all the way down. It's all the way down, but real fast and right back up. That's another thing I can do. You know, so that's pretty much the two things that I do. It's either slow down completely to a stop and then get going again. And that way you can kind of change, almost change directions a little bit, you know. And that's that's pretty much how you move throughout the field. Now, you can, that's why you can almost sometimes, instead of going straight towards the end zone, you can be going this way and go back the other way. You know, but if you go too far, like you can't go a 90 degree cut. Like you can go this way, and you can do, I want to say 45 degrees, but you can't do too much. If you do too much, you'll get fat-footed. Fat-footed, I mean like a giant one cut, the bug special in the open field. That's pretty much what you'll see. But for me, like I said, the best thing you guys can do is go into this offense-only practice mode and, and just do this all day. You know, or at least give yourself a good 10 minutes doing this and figuring out how to how to really just move like this. And really just, even if it's just a computer player, it throws off their pursuit, you know. And that's what I'll talk about next is how to really bop computer players or how to like, because this, the stop and go, stopping and going is pretty much, I know we did a little bit too much there. Stopping and going is pretty much just for manual defenders. You're not going to pull this out on pause. You're not going to use this on computer players because they're kind of like heat seeking missiles. They just chase you no matter where you are. And you can use that to your advantage when it's time to uh, bop the computer, so to speak. But for me, like I said, you got to understand that all players are different. Uh, one reason I really do like Michael Vick a lot more than I like Lamar Jackson is I, I feel like Michael Vick is a little more agile. But this, I'm literally taking the left stick and I'm, sm I'm, I'm just smacking it down and putting it back up. You know, that's that's pretty much the easiest way for you guys to learn how to do this. Now, come on. A running back always gets in my way. You can stop and go. But the left stick back kind of brings you back. Back stops you a little bit faster. Because like I said, I pretty much hold turbo most of the time that I'm running. You know, most of the time that I'm running, I'm going to hold turbo. And right here, like it's... Left stick to the... It almost clicks. It almost smacks because I'm smacking it so fast. Pause. <laughs> this is a wild video. I don't want you guys taking any clips of this video. All right? Like I said, if someone's chasing you, just smack... Just hit the left stick so it hits the bottom of the, 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 the pad on and just keep going. See that? I didn't let go of turbo. So when you don't let go of turbo, that's what happens. So I, my biggest advice is going here and just let go of turbo down. Oh. You definitely can't smack the stick down while holding turbo. That that that's never the move. So I, so as we stumble again, let go, smack stick down, and go. Boom, boom. Boom. But that's it. You can go in here for hours and hours and hours and learn how to move, but I'm going to go ahead and show you guys just the different moves that you can you can use for essentially for attacking the computer defenders because that's what's going to happen uh, it, it's kind of easy to embarrass kids that stay on and click on the whole time but how can we go about really making the computer miss now i will tell you this before we even start one lamar has jukebox so it's pretty stupid but the spin move and the juke move are absolutely they're just lethal. They really are. You know, they just really, they pretty they, they pretty much dominate the computer. Whether you have great juke or great spin. Now, 
I believe the threshold for the, the good spin move is 88. So if you have 89 spin or 88, one or the other, I'm sure you guys will tell me exactly what it was. I feel like Lamar does not have the good spin move. I could be on all pro. That's why. Now the thresholds change for all pro. I can't even look at my... Oh, there's a depth chart right there. Yeah, the, the thresholds change for all pro and all mad. And all mad and uh, the threshold for spin is 82. At least it was last year. Um, and all mad, all pro, I believe, is higher. I, I personally feel like it should be a lot higher, the spin move. I think only real... Yeah, his spin move is only 82. So Lamar can spin and get the good spin on um, on all Madden, but all pro, he's not going to be able to spin that outrageously. Now, this is this is regs. I'm pretty sure that uh, on Mutt, he has a card that can spin. You know, let's just understand it. Let's see if there's any wide receivers on the Ravens that can spin. Uh, 86. The Anthony Thomas is close, but he can't spin. It's all Madden. He could, him and Lamar could spin, but they can't spin that good. But uh, I, I'll show you guys pretty much what I do to computer defenders and how I fool those next. All right, boys. So to beat the computer in the open field, you pretty much have to understand how the computer works and what is the computer going to do? How are they going to chase me? That That's what you got. And, and Madden for years, uh, I, I don't want to say it's the worst. I really don't know how they can change this, but the safety pretty much just chases the ball carrier. Every defender chases the ball carrier, and you have to be able to use that to your advantage. One, you have to know you're probably the fastest player on the field. This time in mud, everybody's kind of fast, so it doesn't play that big a part. But when we get to, if you're playing regs, or when man 21 drops and you have Tyree Kill, or you have Chris Johnson, or Michael Vick, um, have to realize that you're the fastest player on the field. So... And this is just common physics, man. If you're faster than the other guy, the more steps or the more strides you take, eventually you'll outrun this person. And the best way to utilize your difference in speed is to make the, the, the path longer. Make the, make the CPU have to essentially take more steps to catch you. Because the more steps they take, the longer the distance there is for you to outrun them You know, and change their pursuit. Uh, and a lot of people talk about pursuit and, and being bad. Um, I don't know how they can make pursuit better, or I don't know what they could do. You know, so let's say this is our safety right here. Oh, I want to put it on a new layer. This is just a screenshot of Madden right here. Um, but this is our safety, this yellow guy, right? And then we'll make the ball carrier. He'll be red. Whether it be whether it be a running back, this really doesn't matter. Now blast is the easiest way. But this is what we'll do, right? So you have to go into this knowing that this yellow safety will chase you. If you run straight at him, he'll run straight at you. But if you run to, to the right, he'll run to the right. That's pretty much how it works. You know, so if we go ahead, I, if you want to take this guy on in an open field, you might run to the left, try to outflank him this way, and then he'll chase you this way as well. You know, and then you'll pretty much meet there. You know, because this is about the same distance, right? Uh, the distance isn't that long. I want to make this yellow person, this yellow safety, run as long as possible. Because if he has to chase me around the field, he's not going to he's not going to be successful with that. You know. So for me, and you guys know, this is just physics. That the, the shortest distance between two points is a straight line, right? So I don't want a straight line. That's that's not what I want. What I want is this is what I do when I'm facing a safety or any player. The easiest example for this is the offensive lineman when you catch a pick. I literally run right at them, right? I run right at them, which causes them to run right at me, right? But I get to the point here, that's when I kick it to the sideline and then eventually up the sideline. So this, instead of making a straight line for the pylon, we're essentially making three different lines, three different angles. Now, this safety has to one, chase me here, chase me there, then chase me to the pylon. So I just made this yellow safety, his job so much tougher, have to run so much more. And that's going to allow my agility and my speed to show that much more. So that is kind of the angle that I take when approaching one-on-one -on -one with a computer safety. I literally want to run right at him. And then pretty much at the last second before he tackles me, I want to go right or left. 
now this is where we we deal in with that is he going to click on and change his angle change his pursuit and that is what a next level player would do is click on this guy and pretty much just make sure this doesn't happen because if you take this angle if you do this to a safety especially if you have a major speed advantage you are going to just outflank him and just break his pursuit now i'm going to try to do this against the computer in practice mode right now so this was my best way to pretty much how to explain how I just try to outflank and just just break the pursuit of safeties in this game, linebackers, whatever it may be, if somebody doesn't click on them. And this is why if you're on defense, you always have to click on your defenders uh, to some extent. You can't just allow the computer to make these plays. And this is where we talk about a skill gap and making plays on defense and offense. This is a huge part of it. Pretty much outflanked that corner right there. As you see, like what I did to that corner. If you guys see what I did to that corner, show it again. Now, this isn't the best example because it wasn't that much space. But I see right here. You know, I know I'm faster than this corner. So I'm going to go right at him and then in the last second just go sideways. Kind of almost cut in front of his face. The computer is very bad at tackling this game. They're very bad. The fact he didn't like attempt to put an arm out. But like I said, if I would have ran straight down the sideline, he would have met me over here. But I went inside his to give him even. How many steps inside does he take right here? One, two, three. And then those three take him from close to the red line. He's about, you know, three yards off the red line. But when I get done going to the inside, he's pretty much at the numbers. And that gives me the extra space that I have to get to the sideline and get by that computer player. Now, like I said, a good player who clicks on that guy and makes sure that doesn't happen. But if you against one of these bots that doesn't want to click on, you got to be able to just control their pursuit. You have to understand that as, as the ball carrier, you control the pursuit. You know, the compute the defense does not control the pursuit. You control it as the ball carrier. And if you can understand that, you can just change everything. It gives you the power. You have the ball. You have the power to make these type of plays. There's a good example of it. Just attacking that safety. Just kind of controlling where he goes. Now, I'd be better if I was able to get that. That last guy here, this linebacker is just too slow. And Reg's linebackers suck. Just too slow. You just kind of just swerve right in front of them. You hold the, the the turbo the whole time to do that on computer guys. But like I said, it you run right at him. Like right there, right here, I make a decision. Let me go right at him. It take it changes his pursuit a little bit. You see? His his left foot goes down, and then he takes a hard step right to the end zone. Right north and south, and then we break it sideways. And you, a lot of times you'll see the computer diving like that. So these are the different angles that I take. Now I try to do the same thing to Jeff Heath, but I just kind of ran out of room right there. This is where I would use a spinner or a juke on this guy. Or a perfect time to stop and go if someone's going to click on. Boom. Now let's get one more good highlight. Show you guys how I break these safeties. Right at them. Sideways. So you can't really stop and go to the computer. They don't stop with you. They just keep going and tackle you. So all in all, man, if you want to become a better runner in the open field, just remember they're chasing you. You know, whether what all you have all the moves at your disposal, they don't have any moves. Uh, no, one thing I would never do is uh, if you're an enforcer, man, I'm I'm out of here. Patrick Willis, Taylor Mays, Sean Taylor, Pat Tillman. I'm cool. Like. There's times where you can do it if the game is over, but all in all, if you see one of those guys with the abilities under their feet, it's not the time to get cute. I do it, and I pay the price, you know, but uh, also, by learning this, you'll understand the biggest difference in a skill gap in tackling. Tackling is one of the biggest skills in Madden, with one, without a doubt. 100% man if you're a good tackler in the open field it can save you so much more because we just showed how bad the computer is at tackling and for me I, I mean a lot of this is going to come back into oh Madden sucks look at the pursuit look how easy it is to fool them they can't tackle and for me I'm like man if if 
the guy on the other end of the sticks was any good, he would make all these tackles. So for me, as a competitive player, I don't want to say I'm cool with how tackling and pursuit is, but there's such a stress on the user defensively to make plays tackling that, you know, that's a huge skill gap. So the same people that say, you know, pursuit is broken, pursuit is bad, tackling sucks, um, but they can't be the same people crying for a skill gap because tackling in the open field is such a skill gap that even the best players struggle with it. And, and if someone is going to allow their computer to do it, you should be able to be skillful enough with the ball to exploit the hell out of them. You know, and, and that's just once you learn how to do that, you'll be that much more dangerous on your, your stretches, on your when you do a slant, when you do a post, anytime you have the ball in the open field, when you understand that you have so much power with the ball, you'll become a better player. So if you like this video, if you want to see more videos like this, uh, please hit the like button, man. I want to keep pushing out content for you guys. Hope all you guys get better. Now is the time to sharpen up your Madden game. Although it's the end of the year, uh, the only people playing are pretty damn good at the game. You're not going to play too many bots. Uh, so just keep grinding uh, and get better. Everything you get better at in Madden 20 will definitely translate to Madden 21, man. So if you like this channel, if you hit the subscribe button, hit the like, all that good stuff, I appreciate you guys, man. I hope this video helps you guys just a little bit.